Shalom. I would like to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I would like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you Sir Akim, pushing this word across the four corners of the world. And this is a response video to the elder brother within the Jackson, Mississippi camp by the name of Abaya. And his YouTube page name is Ak Ajuda. 2011. So subscribe and be edified through the spirit. And in one of his recent videos, which was titled The Wickedness of a Woman, and that's regarding this Chicago man, which was a jake from one of the Northern Kingdom tribes, either a so-called Hispanic or Latino. So this Chicago man got killed after his child's mother calls out his ops and dropped his location on her Facebook post. And throughout that Facebook post, she was taunting his ops calling them weak and how he keep coming home alive and untouched. So this Northern Kingdom's oppositions, they took their bait. And women are the most spiteful, emotional creatures in existence. You can already tell through the spirit, she was probably in her feelings about something that he did or didn't do. He probably had another side chick and she took it to the full extent to go on Facebook and expose his location to his so-called oppositions. And now you have another Israelite child that would be growing up without a father. And it's a very high probability that that child can be growing up without a mother because she can easily get charged for that. We'll just see how that goes. And that's the spirit that's out here within these end times. It's stated within 2 Timothy 3 and 1 that in the last days, perilous or dangerous times shall come. And that takes me right to the prophecy within Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity should abound, meaning transgressions or sins that's being rampant out here, the love of many should wax cold. And like how we always go through in the spirit, that word for cold within the Greek is sukos. And that's where you get the word psychotic, psychopathic, meaning that these people who are not governed by the righteousness of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, are mentally unbalanced or deranged out here. And that's because they have a lot of demonic spirits or forces upon them and directing them to make these horrible decisions. So, yeah, that's the wickedness of a woman. And as the scriptures goes into how all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Because it can run very deep, especially if you are a creature that's governed by your emotions, making irresponsible and irrational decisions. It will all lead to a path of destruction how the Chicago Jake got caught up in. And that takes me to this quote from Tertullian, and it says, In pain shall you bring forth children, woman, and you shall turn to your husband, and he shall rule over you. And do you not know that you are Eve? God's sentence hangs still over all your sins, and his punishment weighs down upon you. You are the devil's gateway. You are she who first violated the forbidden tree and broke the law of God. And according to 2 Corinthians 11 and 3, it says, As the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtility, meaning that she was enchanted or captivated by his charm. He was spinning that game to her, and she was loving what she was hearing. And by her taking on to that fruit, which was a philosophy, which is outside the philosophy of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, due to her horrible decision-making, that's why we're in the circumstances that we are in in today's time. And according to Ecclesiastes 25 and 24, it stated, Of the woman came to begin in the sin, and through her we all die. So right here again within the quote, it says, You are the devil's gateway. You are she who first violated the forbidden tree and broke the law of God. It was you who co your way around him whom the devil had not the force to attack. And this shows you through the spirit how Esau is that wise, cunning serpent. And as it stated within Genesis, how he was more subtile than any beast of the field. Because within modern times, if you watch that show, The First 48, whenever they get that Jake in the interrogation room and he's not fully breaking just yet, those detectives will either get his mother or his girlfriend, break him down and will co him to tell him. So this serpent, who was a contemptible, treacherous person, he was wise enough to know he could not get straight to the man. So what did he do next? He slithered around and went to the weaker vessel, which is the woman. And it says right here, 
With what ease you shattered the image of God, man, because of the death you merited, even the son of God had to die. Woman, you are the gate to hell. In the prime example, this northern kingdom couple out of Chicago, the wife had so much hatred toward her husband, which also proves through the spirit how the so-called Hispanics or Latinos are definitely the children of Israel. Because that's a part of the curses when you read Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, in the 56th verse. How the Israelite's woman I should be evil toward the husband or her bosom, toward her son and toward her daughter. Because due to her being deeply into her emotions, she did not take into consideration in exposing your husband's location to his oppositions that your child will have to grow up with our father. And what about his family or friends? Of course, through the spirit, this was his just due by receiving a horrible judgment like this. But going back to the point, how it stated within Romans the eighth chapter, the spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high. Because that's a heavy indicator through the spirit how the so-called Hispanics or Latinos or Native Americans are indeed the children of the most high. Which pertains right back unto the curses within Deuteronomy 28 and 56. How this northern kingdom's woman I were evil toward her husband and ultimately toward her child. And that takes me right to Ecclesiastes 26 and 23. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that feared the Lord. Because again, this was all preordained by Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah to set up these two individuals to be as a couple within these latter times and for it to play out how it played out. Verse 24, a dishonest woman could timid shame, which means to despise, which again links right back to Deuteronomy 28, 56. Her eyes should be evil toward the husband or her bosom. So she despised her husband so much that she gave a drop on his location unto his enemies. And that's like the ultimate back door right there. So a dishonest woman could timid shame, but an honest woman will reverence her husband. And one of the many great examples of that within the scriptures is Susanna within the Apocrypha. She reverenced her husband so much that she was going to die in her integrity within the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by not laying down with those two wicked elder Israelites. But through her faith and her integrity, she was redeemed. So an honest woman will reverence her husband. Verse 25, a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, which means a bitch. But she that is shame faced will fear the Lord. Verse 26, a woman that honoreth her husband should be judged wise of all. But she that dishonoreth him in her pride shall be counted ungodly of all. And I'll never forget that song by Juvenile on his album 400 Degrees. And that song was called Juvenile on Fire. And within those lyrics, he stated, a bitch will get you killed. That's the way I think. And that came out within the late 1990s. So fast forward to nowadays, look at the countless of men that are either in jail or in the graveyards due to the selfishness, irrational behavior, and the wickedness of a woman. So that concludes the lesson through the spirit. Chicago man got killed after his child's mother calls out his ops and dropped his location on Facebook. And we are indeed in some perilous times. Which is why it stated within Ephesians, the fifth chapter and the 15th verse about walk circumspectly, not as fools, but wise. Which means to be spiritually discerned and be looking around. Jake and the world say that by keeping your head on a swivel. So redeem the time because the days are evil. So therefore make the best of your opportunity within the righteousness of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Kissing the sun. So with that, hopefully you all was edified, you all stay strong, keep pushing forward. Shalom. Yeah, I got shot when I was 23. I married a young lady that everybody was telling me not to, but I was like, look, y'all don't understand her, our love. So we get to a huge argument one day, and the first time I tried to leave, she ran out the house and, like, hit the windshield with a shovel and, like, shattered the windshield. Ooh, that's pretty bad. <laughs>
Not too long after that, we get into another argument. So I had a pistol on, on, on deck at all times, so she wouldn't grab it. Like, you're not going to leave this time. You're going to listen to me finish this argument. I was holding our son at the time, right? I turned to leave. She shoots me in the forearm. The bullet goes through my forearm and goes across his forehead. I'm looking at my son. His face is bleeding. My arms bleeding. I set my son down, and I look. She's got the gun pointed at my head, bro. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to leave. All I could do is close my eyes, and all I heard was click. Oh, shit. So then she's messing with the gun. The only thing I can think of, like, if I try to run, she's going to shoot me in the back. So I just ran towards her and just turned into a UFC maniac. Pop, pop. A few months ago, I did a podcast talking about how my ex-wife shot me. A clip of that video went viral. Here it is. Now, if you know that story, you know that I was holding our two-year-old son during an argument. My ex-wife pulled a gun on me, shot me in the forearm. The bullet went through my forearm, grazed his forehead. Then she pointed the gun at my face and squeezed the trigger, and the gun jammed. God protected me. What you don't know is that I divorced her immediately. I got custody of our son, and she did three years in prison. She went on with her life. I went on with mine. Quick update, she just got arrested for murdering her boyfriend. It's all over the news. A Georgia woman was arrested years after the body of a man was found in an Alabama shallow grave. Long story short, she found out her boyfriend was cheating, shot him in the head three times while he was asleep. 